Well, roads are places too. And, and, and I, say that not, I, I say that not in jest, I say that in all sincerity, uh, because uh, a road does these days a lot more than just convey goods and people and services. A road is a place in the context in which it sits. It has a value and a, and a very special place in every community. Uh, they can be joiners or dividers, excuse me, depending on, the, uh, on, on how it is developed in that context. Let me give you an example. You can have uh, a state highway that goes through a main downtown downtown somewhere. And that's very common, or at least here in the East, where state highways were originally main streets of many towns. And but because they're under state jurisdiction, they became state highways and they fall under the, uh, the uh, administration of the state highway department and they would require them to follow state highway standards. And you can see where this is going. It's going further and further away from where somebody has to go drive and pick up their, you know, their cleaning or go drop off the dog. Uh, there's a conflict there between what the broader state, state agenda would be for being a state highway where you want to move goods, people, and services distances at some efficient uh, time versus it being smack downtown in, a, in an area that thinks of it as Main Street. So there is, that's a potential conflict that, if not resolved, can be a real rub, it can be unsafe, and it can get very pe uh, people very frustrated and very angry. Um, projects that we've done recently that look to ameliorate that, that inherent conflict uh, take the position that we think we can, we, there's something here for everybody. Yes, we, we understand and we acknowledge that this is a state highway, but it also is somebody's front yard, too. And there is where that place aspect really starts to come into it. The, the, the way that the road fits into the community is very important to the people who live there, as well as to the people who have to, uh, don't, aren't from there and just want to go, you know, pass through and not spend all day sitting in traffic. Uh, there is a balance that must be made. What we look to do is to rebalance the um, ratio between um, consideration for vehicles and consideration for non-motorized traffic and people and everybody else. And for years, the skew was like this, where vehicles got all the, all the attention and everybody else funded for themselves. And that's not healthy because it causes, it's unsafe and it causes people to be frustrated. With the rebalancing of the use aspect of the area between two buildings, you know, the roadway corridor, uh, you can you can begin to accommodate much broader um, methods of transportation, bicycles, pedestrians, uh, anything that is not four or eight or 16 or 20 wheels, and still be able to effectively do the job for both. If it's a state highway or a county highway, you want to be able to move uh, traffic through because it's under the auspices of that agency. But if it's part of a, a major downtown thoroughfare, you cannot, you should not, you will not um, neglect its function as the main street of a town that's full of people and they have lives there. So the rebalancing the, the, the equation of people and vehicles has to be much closer brought to a, a, a natural balance that I think everyone benefits from. The Route 9A project over here on the west side of Manhattan um, is a state highway uh, that's adjacent to multiple communities and it separates the communities from their waterfront, which is a powerful draw. Everybody wants to go sit next to the water, and rightfully so, we're on an island. Uh, when the original west side highway fell down and the um, and the plans for what was going to be Westway were defeated, we needed to come up with a, a, a roadway facility, transportation facility that accommodated north-south traffic and being a state highway route 9A, you need, there were, the volumes out there were pretty intense, but you had clearly almost diametrically opposed to that people living in the village in Chelsea and downtown that wanted to go from their neighborhood to the waterfront and not, not have to deal with four, five, six lanes of cars, trucks, and buses. So our design for Route 9A uh, took into account those 
seemingly diametrically opposed uh, needs. And I think that what we've created there was a roadway that's really a, a joiner of the community to its waterfront and not a separator. We took a tremendous amount of time and effort to develop methods to get people safely and conveniently across it so that it didn't seem like it was a barrier to the waterfront. It's a it was a huge issue, a major issue of contention, and I think by bringing all the parties, the state DOT and the community groups and the city of New York and everybody else together, we were able to develop a transportation facility that really solves both problems. How can we do better in connecting the, e the west side neighborhoods of New York to the water and still move a couple hundred thousand vehicles a day up, up and down north or south along it? Well, we'll take a look.